It's extraordinary, but not crazy to suggest. You and I are descendants of Martians. Okay, that and that's not, not crazy. And that's not crazy. The stuff that you think you know now. It's, it's gonna, gonna change, I guarantee you, everyone. So then you're saying There that are things you're... that I accept as true that are not. That are not true. Yeah. And that doesn't bother me, that excites me. What, how? Or we're gonna make discoveries. But how does it not bother you that things you believe you know are not true? Because we have a process by finding out the truth. When I was a kid, I, I'm, I am so, it so difficult no, but let me give it, no, it's, in other words, you're, to me, what you have is this simplistic worldview that doesn't, is inconsistent with everything we observe. That's what I find troubling. But hang on, let me give you this one thought, you guys. We find Martian meteorites on the Earth because Mars was hit with an impactor right around three billion years ago. Oh, stop right there for a minute. Wait, Stuff wait, fell wait, into space. Wait a minute, how do you know three billion years ago? So let's just say it is, okay. for now. All right. The same way we say there was a flood 6,000 years ago. Oh, no, it on wasn't 6,000 years ago, it was 4,000. Okay. But yeah, I have okay. a basis so, that, all that I, aside, I have a historical record. All that aside. You have a historical record. Yes, we do. So bit. you look at this what, meteorite, what is your historical and record? And you find well. evidence of the Martian atmosphere, the little bubbles in the rock. You find these shock patterns and you find the minerals from Mars. So it is not crazy, it's extraordinary, but not crazy to suggest that Mars was hit with an impactor through what's generally called a home in orbit, an orbit where it goes falls toward the sun but ends up on the Earth. You and I are descendants of Martians. Okay, that and that's not, not crazy. And that's not crazy? Is it crazy that you and I are descendants of Adam and Eve? Uh, we are descendants from a common ancestor. I don't but know is that it they crazy went by that, those names. Is it crazy that God made the first man and woman and we're descendants there's, of them? For me, there's no evidence of that. So is that crazy? But I, I wouldn't use that word. It's, what would you say? It's say uh, you're betraying your intellect. You're not no. using your head. So, it, so you're saying it is crazy. It's, just, it's frustrating. Which is frustrating. more crazy, but, though? But you're saying we're descendants Martian. of Martians, and that's it's not crazy? I say it is not crazy. It's extraordinary, but not crazy. Okay. And so, we have a process so by which we can prove that. Uh, that's prove, what's so exciting. Oh, prove that we're descendants. Bill, I want, to, I want you to do that for all these young people. Prove that we're descendants from Martians. I can't prove that right now. I don't I know you where you were we, the I, last minute and a half. I thought you said we, we could. We want to send spacecraft there. We have a process by which we can make this discovery. Okay. And it could be on Europa, there might be something what alive. What if there is no discovery? Well, that's also discovery. extraordinary. That makes us even more unusual in the universe. Are, are you prepared to take, we have a book called the Bible that says it is the word of God who made all things. You said, here's what happened in the past. Are you prepared to take that and consider it in regard to the evidence you see in the present? So I claim, Mr. Ham, that I spent a lot of time with that. I read it twice, uh -huh. I followed the guys around on the maps, uh -huh. I decided that humans made the whole thing up. Your starting point is everything happens by natural processes, evolution is fact. My starting point is God's word is true, and I'm, I'm saying when I start with God's word, I can explain why DNA is an information system and a language system. I can explain why there are fossils over the earth. I can explain why there are flood legend cultures all over the world. Because the Bible's history that makes sense of that. Your history, your history, it's not history, your belief about the past doesn't make sense of that. It doesn't make sense of DNA. It doesn't make sense of, of where humans came from. It doesn't make sense of, of the fossil record. I claim it does. Okay. See, to an extraordinary degree. So everybody understand, in the process of science, as soon as you work backwards and introduce a miracle, a miraculous event, then it's no longer science. It's, a, it's, a, it's another type of worldview. And then I want everyone to understand that when you go backwards and say everything happened by natural processes, that that's Bill's religion. His religion is there's no God, the Bible's not true, and everything happened by natural processes. He has a religion, I have a religion. His is based on blind faith, mine is not. Because when you start with God's word, it makes sense of the world that we see, and we can use observational science to confirm it. So what's the difference between science and observational science? Well, again, the word science, it comes from the Latin scientia, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. And it means to know. Let's, let's change it to the process of science. No, 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 it means to know. What's the difference between the process okay. of science so how do you, and so how observational do you, how do you science? How do you define science? Divine science as a process by process. which we make discoveries about nature. Okay, so science as a process, okay, you, you can use the word science in regard to that. What about when you're talking about knowledge about the past? Knowledge that, about the past. Okay, so that's science. 
Absolutely. So the Bible is a science textbook because it's it's a textbook of historical science. I would not science. in absolutely no way consider the Bible but a science textbook. It's a book of history, right? So it's historical science. See, it's that's not, a word I've never heard before. It's knowledge about Until the past. I met you, I never heard the expression historical science. I'm glad I could bring it to your attention. So there's a difference between observational science yeah. and historical science. Oh, absolutely. Because in, when you your five senses in the present, you can build a great ship like this. But using your five senses in the present, you can't, you can't prove we came from Martians. I will someday, find, I hope, be able to prove whether or not life is on Mars. It's not exactly the same well, question. You know, you know what's interesting? When the Human Genome Project mapped the human genome, they said there's only one race of people. You know what that confirms? The Bible. Because we all go back to Adam and Eve, we're all one race. Uh, so I don't think it confirms the Bible. It just makes the Bible consistent with nature on this one point. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad we agree on that. Yeah. I'm glad we consistent agree. with nature on this it is one point. It is consistent. Yeah. So, yeah. It is. But your, your evolutionary view, would you say there were different races that evolved at different times? No. So there's only one race? Only one race of humans. People run this test all the time, Mr. Ham. So, no, Mr. Ham, if do, a Norwegian, when, if when a, we, an Australian when, has sex with a pop with a uh, an Australian has sex with a uh, person from China. All you get is a human. Okay. You don't get any new so, things. So how did in history did did an ape-like ancestor give rise to hu humans? Where did we become human? And Welcome to our world. We struggle with this question all the time. So, hundred thousand years ago, hundred and fifty thousand years ago, so a million it, years ago, so it, a million and a half. Uh, so if we become human, are we different to the animals? Yes, you can run this test too. Yeah, so we're different. Yeah. So is it possible that humans were created separately by God and we didn't evolve from... I've seen no evidence for that. Okay, so There's no evidence so for that. You, so you don't know when we evolved from... We work very hard to try to figure it out. Okay, but so you're assuming we did evolve from some ape-like ancestor? Absolutely. The evidence is overwhelming. What, what evidence? The evidence that there are so many animals, remains of animals, that are almost human. Not quite. So many remains of animals that are almost uh, primates. It's a spectrum, a transition. It's a fantastic. It's I mean, wonderful. It's an amazing discovery. But you, but you, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm perplexed because you said before we, we don't know. Was it a hundred thousand? Was it was when was, we don't? But it wasn't a billion. So, well, you don't have. It all, wasn't. So you it don't wasn't have, four thousand. So you don't have all these supposed transitions that you could just show all these young people. We have the supposed transitions. You know. oh, we, so we do know when we came from. I well, people cases. argue about this very diligently. Furthermore, by the way, everybody, through the process of science, I guarantee you, there will be changes. Pluto was not considered. Pluto was considered a planet. Now people think Pluto isn't really of a different origin. It doesn't orbit in the same plane, so we change the definition. Science changes. That's the fundamental thing, everybody. Science changes. So your views you have today could be wrong? Absolutely. Well, if you could be wrong, but you see... Here's where we differ. Being wrong by less than a percent is not the same as being wrong by 100%. So we're wrong by 100%. You're wrong by 100%. So you must have 100% of knowledge to know I'm wrong by 100%. Absolutely, I have 100% knowledge that your worldview is wrong. Okay. That I've got. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that an antichrist shall come, even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time.